Flies like a dream, Spencer. Stay close to us here. I'll get you in the picture when it goes by. He won't let me. No, well, that's good. That's good. scaled out uh, just got done flying it I think it's been years and years since he flew it or anybody flew it and uh, it flew like a champ a um, little bit of trim um, it just flew beautifully uh, when I went into a turn didn't have to use any elevator or any rudder at all it just nice coordinated turn um, engine ran absolutely superb superb um, I was below half throttle um, landings were very predictable, just nice and slow and easy, and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful plane. Tell me about the particulars of the plane. Uh, particulars when, when, of the plane. When do you think it was built? It was, it was built, I think, 15 years ago, and it took Spencer three years to do it all. Um, he put all the panel lines, all the rivets, all the webbing on top, and then on the bottom, he has all the inspection holes. And uh, I'll go around here and I'll lift it up for you. It has functional gear, landing gear. Um, but everything is completely just scale on it. And it does have a crazy wheel, so there's no controlling it, but I did not need it. And um, I believe the little pins here are staples that he cut. Is this a kid or did he go to This the is a Balsa USA third scale cub. And uh, basically a couple of trees in a box. What engine? It has a G62 with a spring starter. It does have a opening door on the side. Show me. <coughs> oh, I, I can't. I got it taped up. Oh, that's right. And uh, the interior, he did all the interior, it's all scaled out. Um, just everything is just what you think by looking at a real airplane. And it probably weighs about 32 to 35 pounds. There is no wing tube in this. Um, just the wing struts are functional, very functional, um, so you don't want to do anything crazy um, because it just uh, bolts hanging it on. Um, this is actual metal that he formed to it and every screw he put in. Just uh, a great flyer, great flying airplane.